Here's a quick lesson on how to play Feel Good Ink by Gorillaz. This is for my beginners out there. We're just going to be doing three sections, the main riff, pre-chorus and chorus. And then you can have a go playing a short version of the song with me. The main riff sounds like this. To start, we're going to hit our top string, open. Then we're going to go open two, three. Next, we move down to the A string and we go three, two. Put it together. Moving on, still on this A string, we're going to go open, open three, two. And then to finish off, we go three, zero on the top string. So if you've got the main riff down, the pre-chorus is pretty simple. It just goes like this. So all you gotta do is go D string, second fret, then open. Same thing on the A string, 2nd fret then open, then 3rd fret top string, and then open. So if you've got the pre-chorus down, let's take a look at the chorus now. Our chorus is chords and strumming. We've got about 4 chords, we're going to start with an E minor. Next we're moving on to a D. Then we've got an A minor. And lastly, we've got a B minor. It's a pretty tricky chord. It, usually it's played as a bar chord, like so. If that's too tricky, I've got a couple cheat options. There are B minor sevens that don't use bars. First option for B minor seven is kind of like an A chord, but we're gonna move our first finger to second fret A string and our ring finger to second fret bottom string. So think of it as A with some gaps. Uh, another way to do B minor seven is you could go first finger, second fret A, middle finger, second fret G, ring finger, third fret B. And whenever you play B minor seven, just ignore the top string. So for B minor, we got three options, the full bar, or B minor seven, option one, B minor seven, option two. Pick whichever way is gonna work for you. So if you've got the chords down, let's take a look at the strumming. So our strumming pattern, I've simplified it a little bit. We're gonna go down, up, up, up. If you can, try and use your other fingers to mute the strings in between strokes, like down, up, mute, up, mute, up. It might take a little while to get the hang of it, but that'll make it sound a lot like the song. If that's too tricky, don't worry, it still sounds good just doing regular strumming. But you can add the mutes in if you want, but don't stress about it. So, we had E minor, down, up, up, up. Then we're gonna go to a D, same strumming. A minor. And then B minor. We're going to repeat that progression three times. Then on the fourth time, it's very similar, except instead of doing that B minor, we're doing a D chord instead, and we hang on that D for three times. So the chorus part two goes E minor, D, A minor, and then D three rounds. Hope you enjoyed that lesson guys. If you like what I do, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna support me further and get access to some extra stuff, uh, you can also sign up to my Patreon. Till next time, take it easy.